Hi, come on into the house of the magic window. Today is game day, and we're going to play a couple of games. The first one we're going to play is a finger game that that you've probably played before, and it has a little song that goes with it, and it's about a spider. Do you know the song about the spider? The itsy bitsy spider, do you? If you do know it, then do you know how to put your fingers together and pretend that they are the spider that's crawling along up the web? Well, let me show you. Take the thumb on this hand and the first finger on that hand. Can you put them both up in the air like that? That's right. Then put both of them together. And then the thumb on this hand and the first finger on the other hand. Then you have to twist your whole arm until these two fingers are together, too. And then you see, to make the spider climb, you just Hold on to the top two fingers and wind the other two around like that, see? And when you practice and practice, you can make a little bitty spider or you can make a great big daddy long leg spider. Now, if you want to follow along and, and beat a little spider with your fingers, and if you know the song, you sing along with me, will you? All right, and it goes like this, remember? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Then down came the rain, and it washed the spider out. But then out came the sun, and it dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Did you make it all the way through that time? Good, you try it again, will you? And we'll see if we can't have a real spider here come crawling up a glass rain pipe. You see, it's a glass rain pipe because you can't see it there. All right, you sing with me, though, and you make your fingers go like a little spider, will you? Then here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Then down came the rain, and it washed the spider out. But out came the sun, and it dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. And he got all the way up to the top, didn't he? Well, that's one game that... We played, and that was a finger game, wasn't it? And the next game that we're going to play is one that you're going to have to make right along with me. I hope that you brought your craft kit, did you? Good. A craft kit has all of the things that we'll be needing in it, doesn't it? Scissors and crayons and paste and paper and pencils and paints. And another, th we're going to do some painting today, too. That is, if you have some paints in your craft box. If you don't have any paints, you can use color crayons just as well. But if you do have some paints, you'll need some water to use with the paints, too, won't you? And another thing that we're going to use is this box right here. Now, you can use either the lid of a cardboard box or the bottom of the box. And what we're going to do is turn it over like this so that we have a nice table on, on the top right here, a nice flat piece. And we're going to use some other things, too. You can use either rubber jar rings, which are these right here. You see, if I put them over my finger like this and pull, see how it stretches? That's a rubber jar ring that you can probably get from your mother. You can get as many of them as she happens to have. Or you can use a metal jar ring. See, I have two of them here, and if I clang them together, they make a nice clinky noise, and they're shiny, too, aren't they? But they don't have anything here in the center. See how I can put my fingers right through there? We're going to use either the rubber ones or the metal ones, then, and something else, too, some clothespins. Any kind of clothespins, the kind that your mother uses when she hangs things up on the line. And how many clothespins do I have right here? Can you count them and tell me? You count them while I put them down. Five. Just as many clothespins as there are fingers on your hand, isn't it? Now, what do you suppose we're going to do with these? Well, we're going to set the clothespins up on top of the box, and we're going to play a game by throwing the jar rings and trying to put them right over the clothespin like that. You see? It's a lot of fun. We have to stand back, and you can put the game on the floor, or you can put the game up on a table. 
But we have to do something else before we fasten the clothespins on the top of the box. Before we can even play the game, we have to do some decorating to the box. We're going to make a great big face on here, the biggest face that you can put on top of the box right here. And so before we can do that, we're going to have to get the things that we'll need out of our craft kit, aren't we? And let's, you open your craft kit, and I'll open mine. And my paints are in here. And let's see. Mm -hmm. The paintbrush is right where it belongs. And I'm going to use my paints today. So I want to put them out here so I can reach them in a hurry. And here are my crayons. Maybe I'd best lay them out, too. And in case I would want to use both paints and crayons, then the crayons will be right there. And we're going to need a pencil. We're going to want to do a little drawing on the box before we color or before we paint. So lay out a pencil. Let's see, some scissors. Did you find your scissors in there? All right, then put them out, too. And I think that that's all we're going to need so we can put the lid on our craft kit and lay it aside. If we need some other things out of it, we can go ahead and get them out as we need them, can't we? Now, let's start to put the face here, picture of the face, right on this box. And right here in the center, what do you suppose we're going to put in the center? Well, I think, first of all, we should mark the places where we're going to place the clothespins, don't you? Can you think of five good places on a face to put clothespins? Well, right here in the center is where one of them is going to go. And you know what else is going to be right there? A nose on this face is going to be there. And there is going to be another clothespin here and another clothespin here. And guess what we're going to paint or color or draw around these two circles? The eyes, that's right. And then there's going to be a clothespin here and a clothespin here. What do you suppose is going to go down there? Well, look. The mouth, that's right. The mouth is going to go down there. And the nose is going to go right here. Now, it doesn't have to be a round nose. Your, the nose that you're making on your box doesn't have to be round like mine. It can be any kind of a nose that you want. And you can make any kind of eyes that you want, too. I thought I'd make some eyes that, that were great, big, round ones like this. Eyes that looked like they were smiling. Do you think these eyes are going to look like they're smiling? And we can even put some eyelashes on. You know, we're doing this in pencil now, so we'll know where to color when we're finished. And what about some eyebrows? Well, you can put eyebrows on them if you want to. There. And the mouth. He looks like a happy old face, doesn't he? Don't you think so? Well, let's color him now. If, you ha if you're going to use your colors, you use your colors. Remember what I'm going to use? I am going to use my paints. That's right. And so here's the water. Put the brush in the water and put some of the water here. What do you suppose I'm going to paint first of all? I'm dipping my brush in the red paint right here. Can you guess what I'm going to paint red? Well, you're right. I could paint his mouth red, but this is kind of a light red. It's not a dark red that I might use for his mouth. Oh, did you guess what I was going to paint red? I'm going to give him a big old red nose. And you know what else I might do while I have the red on the paintbrush? I just might give him some red cheeks over here, too. There, just a little bit of color on the cheeks. And then I'm going to add a darker red to the red that I used for his nose and give him a nice big red mouth, too. There. Now, his eyes. What color eyes are you going to put on your big um, funny face here on, on the lid? Green or brown? I think I'm going to make mine blue. 
great big blue eyes. Oh my, but he has pretty eyes, doesn't he? And then we'll want to paint in his eyelashes too. There, there. Now, how does he look? Oh, he's a funny old face. So we'll give him a tooth right down here. One tooth. One for tooth. Right there in the middle. Now, do you have your clothespins ready? And the scissors? Well, let's put the clothespins in on top of the box so that we can at least play a couple of times before I have to leave. Right where we put the first circle here. You take your scissors, put them right down on top of that circle, and make a little cut there. Now, not a very big one, just a little one like that. And another one over here. And in this circle. Now, how many have we made so far? There's one, two, three. And then here in this eye. And here in this one. Now, for the clothespin. We'll take a clothespin, and we'll stick it right there. <laughs> Doesn't he look funny now? He gets funnier every time we're going to put a clothespin in. Wait till you see how silly he looks with his old clothespin nose. And a clothespin at the corner of one side of his mouth, and another clothespin at the other corner. And you know what we can do now? You can take a crayon or your paints or even a pencil and you can put numbers by all of these clothespins. I'm going to put the number one right here by his mouth and that means that if I throw a, a ring over these two clothespins, I get one point. And right here in the middle of his nose, I'm going to put ten. That's how many points I'm going to get if I throw a ring over the clothespin that's there in his nose. And then you can have any number that you want to for his eyes up here. Shall we try to play the game right now and see if it's going to work? All right. If you want to put your game out in front of you here, and I'll turn mine around and put it right there, and we'll take our jar ring. Now, let's see. I'd better take my chair and move it over a little bit. I don't want to be too close to it. Here we go. Oh, I didn't hit anything the first time, did you? Oh, and the... It bounced right off, didn't it? And look at that one standing right up on end. Do you suppose we're going to hit anything? Well, all we seem to be doing is knocking them over. And I'm all through. I have no more rings. So you know what? I didn't get any points at all. How many did you get? Can you count them up after after the rings went over one of the clothespins? Well, I hope that you got more points than I did. I think I'm going to have to practice, aren't I? So that I can stand perhaps way at the other side of the table and throw the rings on. You come back again sometime and see me very soon, will you? Okay, bye now.